Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, welcome. I'm Lisette and guys, look. I'm almost there. Look, I have saved this part. I have managed to finish this. Guys, in case you don't know what I'm showing you right now, I'm doing a cross stitch conversion. I'm doing a Josephine wall cross stitch pattern on a blank canvas and I'm turning it into a diamond painting. It's a heaven and earth design pattern and I have made an entire playlist of this project. I'll put a link in the description below. Last week I showed you an update and then I said well I hope that I'll be able to finish this project in 2022 well i'm going to manage because i'm going to do this part tonight and well it's the 21st so guys haha <laughs> oh i'm i'm so excited i'm not going to show you the entire painting because i want to save that for the post review but guys look <gasps> This part of her wing, this is so much confetti. But I just, I did it so super, super fast. Because last week you saw the update that I had filmed on December 1st. So now it's three weeks later. So I managed to do this in three weeks. And it's really a lot of work. <laughs> um, what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to show you the drills that are missing that I need to put back. Let me show you. Okay, right guys, so I'm holding it up right now for you. Sorry guys, I'm trying. So in the bottom, you see that part? I didn't do it just yet. But do you see all those little spots of light? <laughs> all missing drills guys. So I need to go back in and make sure that I put in the correct drills. Okay, so what am I going to do? Well, here you see the information. So this is the way that this has been built up. So you start with page number one in the left top side and then you work page per page like this okay i can't show you the actual pattern i can just show you like like this because it's copyrighted but i have marked off every bit that i did so now i need to go back in to put in the missing drills um so how am i going to do that i'll show you so what did I do? I used washi tape put along the edges and I made sure that I had tagged each grid and a grid is a 10 by 10. So these are the first 10, second 10 and here is a page break. And then here on this side is a page break as well. So I know that this part is all in the first page. So I'm going to look here. So I'm actually using this to check. In the first page, there aren't any missing drills, but in the second page, over here. Right, so I know that it is, I can see over here, that it is in the second, can you see me yet? That it is in the second grid. Okay, right guys, so here I have the pattern. I know that it is the second page, it's the second grid, so I know one, two, and I know in here it's also the second grid, so one, two, and then I know it's the fourth from the fourth from the top because I have done it like this, and I know it is from this, it is also fourth, so fourth, fourth. Yes. And I'm also looking, I'm not only looking at the grids over here i'm also looking at the colors and now that i have done the entire painting i recognize the color so i can just see by the way they are placed i can double check to see if i have the correct uh, color 
and the correct symbol. Right. So I've managed to do two. And you see how long that took me. So I'm going to be a while, guys. <laughs> see you later. It's really, really difficult to take it, taking me, uh, oh, sorry. I can do it, but it does take me a long time to find them. I'm going to bring you up closer so you can hopefully see better what I'm doing once I put it in. But I really need to count, recount, check the symbols. Sorry if you hear a cat meowing in the background, that's James. I'm going to bring you up close, guys, and hopefully I can show it. Right guys, I'm trying to get you up as close as possible. So here I have one missing. Um, I know it's in square number 21. And it's one, two, three grids down. And now I just need to figure out which one it is. So therefore I really need this and I know that this is the first of the grid. So I'm just going to get my paper and then I can see because I recognize the, the drills that are among them I can read the pattern because I've been working on it for so long. So I recognize these two and these three. I know the symbol is L. So I know it's this symbol that's all around it. So I can put it back. Well, and if you do that about a thousand times, then you <laughs> have recompleted your diamond painting. And I know there's one missing in the exact same row. So now I can just, I don't have to go back in. I can just look at my pattern. I know I have this one, this one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I know, and that's a coincidence, it's the same one. Okay guys, and that is how it's done. <laughs> Are you feeling sorry for me? Okay, I'll just zoom you out again and I'm going to continue. <clears throat> okay, right guys, and what I'm doing right now, because I'm in the same uh, row, um, I have recognized uh, some symbols that I put together. So I know these three, I know where they are in the pattern. So I'm just going off that to fill in the other ones. And I do think that the advantage is that I have done the entire diamond painting. Um, and I'm so used to looking at the symbols and the colors that I recognize certain colors that are very distinct. And then I can read off the pattern and just go back and check. So that helps. That really, really helps. Okay, number 21, where are you, baby? Uh, let me just check. So I'm just walking back through the pattern. As a, that's a bit how it works. And I must say that I would have thought that I would be counting more on the canvas, but actually I'm counting more on the pattern. And I'm just using markers of recognition in the pattern, just like I showed you with the symbol L that I recognize, and then I can just work from there in the pattern. I hope that makes sense. For me it does. <laughs> Okay, I have missed one because I see here, I see one here. 
Let me just go and check. That's number 18. 18. That's this page. Oh, one, two, three, four, five. And it's less difficult to um, um, estimate the the grids going in. So this is more difficult than this part. I don't know why. One, two, three, four, five. Eighteen. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. I'm now. I'm just going to check if I can see. Okay, right guys, I did it. You see? Finally! No more missing drills. Right guys, so the last time I did this was on the other Josephine wall that I did from Diamond Painting Deutschland. I'm going to seal it using this product and I'm going to make it a little bit thinner because it's like a glue. I'll show you. Look, you see, it's got the thickness. Oh, it's actually not that thick. Oh, the last time I used it, it was thicker, I think. So I'm going to put a little bit of this in here. And I'm just going to add a little bit of water, just a little drop and make it a little thinner. Okay guys, if you want to see the entire uh, seal video that I have already made, I'll put a link in the description below. Look guys, you see? There's like a wide layer, but I'm making sure that everything is in there. And then I'm just going to do like this, very softly. Because with my Diamond Painting Deutschland, I treated it much more roughly. But I can already feel the diamonds coming up, coming off with this one, even if I do this. So I'm just going to trust the process. I'm not going to take a lot off. That's what I did with uh, my Diamond Painting Deutschland one. But with this one I'm not going to, and we'll just see. I'm just hoping that um, the shimmer of the diamonds won't be affected that much. But right now I'm at a stage that I don't even care anymore, guys. I just want those drills not to pop. I just want to have this sealed and ready so that I can put it away. And I'm just going to trust <laughs> the process guys and hopefully it'll work <clears throat> okay I'm going to put you in a time lapse guys bear with me Guys, I'm going insane because just another one popped off here. So I'm just going to put something in there that looks a little bit... Oh, I'm so annoyed. I'm so annoyed. I'm going to put in a green one. I don't care. Okay. You guys, seriously, I'm so over this. 
I hope that once I have, I'm just taking my time, I'm just drowning them in glue and I don't even care anymore if it just stays white like this. <laughs> Because right now I'm just, okay, just stay down. I have been putting drills that came off when I put some glue on there. They came oh, loose and I'm just been putting them back and just getting more and more annoyed. And I'm just sitting here thinking about storing this one. All right, guys, maybe if you're doing a project like this, Think in advance if you want to hang it somewhere, because if you don't uh, and you're using the same materials that I am using, then you need to store it somewhere flat. Or give it away or throw it away. <laughs> I'm considering the last thing right now. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just... I'm just showing you the authenticity of my project, guys. It isn't all fun. <laughs> but in the end, it's so rewarding. No, just kidding. No, it really is. I hope. I hope that once I show you the post review next week... And I'll show it in all its glory detail. That you'll be like, oh wow. Because I'm going to save that for next week. Okay, right guys, I did it. I sealed her. Well, that was a really tedious project as well, or process as well. Okay, I'm going to let her dry. Uh, and that's the end of this update. Um, next week, guys. <laughs> I hope I'll be in a better mood. Sorry, the last part of this video. <laughs> I wasn't too cheery, but I'll get back there. I'm trying to get into the holiday spirit. And, uh, well, guys, I wish you all happy holidays. And I'll see you next week for the post review. She's finished! Okay, right guys, I need to show you this adorable little fellow that's in our Christmas tree. Isn't he a cutie? Happy holidays, everyone.